Okay, David, thanks. U.S. Senate candidate Chris McDaniel said last night he will challenge his election defeat by Senator Thad Cochran. Today, no more comments. A 16 WABT Scott Simmons reports the question is whether there's evidence to support the McDaniel campaign's claims of voter irregularity. We have to be absolutely certain that the Republican primary was won by Republican voters. In a fiery speech to supporters, Chris McDaniel did not concede and said his camp would investigate dozens of claims of voter irregularities. And today, the conservative movement took a back seat to liberal Democrats in the state of Mississippi. McDaniel also criticized the Republican leadership in the state for allowing Cochran to recruit Democratic voters. Party Chairman Joe Nossif told me by phone if McDaniel has evidence of wrongdoing, he should bring it forward. If somebody's going to challenge something, I'm ready to, to go ahead and, and hear it, let's have a fair process and, and get it behind us. Thad Cochran spokesman Austin Barber says they followed the law in inviting Democrats to support the six-term incumbent. You know in, in Mississippi, uh, if you're a registered voter in Mississippi and you didn't vote in the June 3rd Democrat primary, you were eligible to vote in this, in this election. McDaniel staffers have been focused on any Democrats that crossed over and voted Republican after voting Democrat in June. Ricky Cole with the state Democratic Party says there should be an investigation, but doesn't put much stock in the law he calls unenforceable. The law says intent. And if you've ever been married, you know intent will change on you once in a while. Sam Hall with the Clarion Ledger thinks McDaniel will pull back from his challenge. He runs the risk of alienating other, you know, supporters, uh, current and, and future supporters that he might need in 2015 if he wants to run. The final stages of a bitter election that still may not be over. For Commitment 2014, Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News.